All right, guys, welcome back. We're going to be solving an interesting question in today's video, and we have x squared plus x over x plus 1 to the power of 2 is equal to 3. So the first thing that comes to mind is to all oh, So in here, we have a over b to the power of 2, which will be equal to a squared divided by b squared. And if we want to go that route, we'll have x squared plus here, we'll have x squared plus x plus 1 squared, which we know is x squared plus 2x plus 1 equals to 3. And now we need to do the common denominator in here. And it sounds like it's going to turn into a disaster. And it will be a long thing because at the end, we're going to end up with x to the power of 4. And solving that equation is just pain in the ass. And it doesn't seem to be b way to go and uh, let's see if we can come up with another strategy idea or better way to go around that long path and one thing is that uh, if we look at the left side of the equation we'll we'll have something like a squared plus b squared and the ways that we can build up this thing is that we know a plus b squared will be a squared plus b squared plus 2ab and it seems that we can build up a squared plus b squared by this a plus b to the power of 2 minus 2ab so that's one way to build up a squared plus b squared the other way is we also have a minus b squared which is same as the previous one a squared plus b squared we only have minus 2ab in here so if that's the case uh so this way we'll get a squared plus b squared which will be a minus b to the power of 2 minus 2ab uh, plus 2ab so here let's call our x a and this expression x over x plus 1 b and let's do so we called x our a and x and let's call x over x plus 1 b so let's find the a b first our a b will be simply x times x over x plus 1 which will be x squared divided by x plus 1 and let's see what we get for a minus b which will be x minus x over x plus 1 if you do the common denominator, we'll get x plus 1. So we'll have x times x plus 1 from the first one. And the second one will have minus x. We know this will be x squared plus x. And there we go. x squared plus x minus x, which is x squared. And we have x plus 1. And since we have the same expression, this seems to be the way to go for this question you guys can pause the video now uh, using this hint go ahead with your answer see if you get the same answer at the end and watch the rest of the video after that that's actually very good practice so uh, let me know at the end in the comments if you guys got the same answer so let's pause the video for maybe a couple of minutes all right guys let's get back to it uh, i hope you guys found the answer so we're gonna go with this one so all we have in here is a minus b squared plus 2ab. A minus b squared we know is this expression. So we have x squared divided by x plus 1 squared plus 2ab. And on the other side we'll have 3. So all we need to do in here is just to call x squared divided by x plus 1y. And what we get is y squared plus 2y is equal to 3. If we subtract each side by 3, we'll have x squared plus 2y minus 3 equals to 0. We have a simple quadratic equation, but we can go around using quadratic formulas since we have two numbers that multiply minus 3 and add 2. So those two numbers that multiply minus 3 can be 3 and minus 1. And if that's the case, we can write down our equation in this way, y plus 3 three times y minus one equals to zero and we have a b equals zero and in this way we'll have a equals zero or b equals zero let's go with the first one y plus three is equal to zero our y will be minus three and what we called y was x squared divided by x plus one so we'll have x squared is equal to minus 3x minus 3 and we'll have x squared plus 3x plus 3 and let's find the discriminant here if we're going with quadratic formula the discriminant will be b squared minus 4ac this is our a this will be our b and 
this will be our C. So we'll have 3 squared, which is 9 minus 4 times 1, and C is 3. So we got a negative discriminant, which means we don't have real numbers. And unless we go with imaginary answers, which is not the point in here, and we're not looking for that. So that seems that the first one cannot be an answer. Let's go with the second one where we have y minus 1 is equal to 0. So that means our y is 1, and we called y again x squared divided by x plus 1. So we have x squared is equal to x plus 1, and we're just going to take everything on the left side, x squared minus x minus 1 equals to 0. And let's see what we get in here. If we want to go with the quadratic formula, our y will be minus b plus or minus the discriminant b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a uh, so our a is 1 this time we'll have our b minus 1 and our c is minus 1 2 so minus minus 1 will be 1 plus or minus b squared 1 minus 4 times a times c divided by 2a which is 2 and we have 1 plus 4 under the square root so we'll have 1 plus or minus square root of 5 divided by 2 and there we go that would be the final answer for this question very interesting strategy to go and solve these kind of questions again let me know if you have any specific question or any comments about this one or a better way to solve this i'd be happy to discuss it in the comments with you guys and that would be all for this one you guys take care and i'll see you in the next video have a good one